Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, and we are back working on a little Roadster pickup project we've been putting together from pieces and parts that we have laying around the shop. So pretty much got everything mocked up. It's looking how I want. Um, off camera, we actually made a little mount for our, our new headlight bar and some headlights that we have at a place we were picking recently. Um, and it looks awesome. It's an old chromed curved headlight bar somebody had on a hot rod or a race car back in the day. Other thing is we made a little mount for the tail light and, uh, and the license plate in the back. So we pretty much got all the major pieces where they need to be. Anything else is stuff that we can do once everything's kind of on the assembly stage, we can fix the last handful of things. So what I'd like to do on this uh, is actually get this truck blown apart and we wanna get the frame all uh, prepped and uh, painted so that we can put everything back together. So what we're gonna work on in the video today is get everything taken apart and blown apart. I'm gonna finish weld a handful of things that we have partially welded, like the wishbone mounts. Um, I'm gonna weld a couple pieces for the old Yankee kit that are actually bolt on, but I'm gonna weld them together for bracing underneath, just cause I already have the welder out. Uh, and then we're gonna take any extra brackets or pieces off that we don't need, prep the frame, and now I'm gonna be using Eastwood Rust Encapsulator Plus, which is, uh, can be brushed sprayed, um, rolled, however, on, and I think we're gonna do it old school and just like brush paint it like it would have been done in the 40s. So uh, should be pretty fun, and hopefully by the end we'll be putting the truck sort of back together with a painted frame. So let's get started.
It actually works quite well. Yeah, you can just get into the tight areas anywhere that you can't be blocked. I was playing with Seam Sealer yesterday. Sure. This is nothing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> so hot out, so it'll dry this like air like mm -hmm. moisture cure. Yep. So the being humid and hot, it'll it'll dry really fast. Yep. No, I like this. This stuff actually works really good for these old look chassis. Mm -hmm. it, it, uh, it's like the right sheen, if you will. Right. So, sticking that while it was DA in the frame, I'm like having to stay away from the numbers so that because they're so thin. Yeah. The DA it will actually make the numbers disappear. Mm -hmm. But excellent. Don't need that. Horse hair brushes, you're a hack. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, we probably should do the back side because it's going to get covered up. Right, yeah, exactly. I mean, right, it's just, I just thinking ahead. You just talked me into it. Because, <laughs> you know, the, the truck bed's going to go on and then you can't, this area is going to be exactly. not accessible. Mm -hmm. We spent 20 grand on bodywork and paint on that thing and would have gotten a double. With five grand more for the car. Exactly, yeah, the car would have been worth almost nothing more. Hold that 
ดาผมเกียดไหมWine's first try, and another time it's. <laughs> I know, Moon. This is boring. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just, just moved over. Yep. A little adjustability built into it there. Yeah. 
All right, let it down. Let it down. So we got the frame put down over the suspension again and everything clamped in place. Torque tube actually slid together with the, uh, with the yoke um, pretty easily, like first try. Sometimes it takes a bunch, but we got lucky and this one fell together, so to speak. Um, and we got all the motor mounts bolted back in and it is sitting back down with a painted frame, which is really awesome. Uh, already looks way better, which is great. So uh, we figured it was a good point for, it's a good stopping point for this, this video. We have a little bit of stuff to do before we put the body on. I need to shorten the radius rods in the back because of the torque tube and everything. We need to shorten a set of V8 radius rods so they are the correct length to match what we have there um, and hook up a couple of things. It'll be easier when the body is, uh, is off of it. So, and then hopefully by the end of the next video, we'll have the body back on for the final time. And uh, we can start moving on to fixing some of the metal work on the body and wiring it, plumbing it, and maybe taking it for a drive here soon. My, my, unrealistic goal is maybe by early August to have it running, but we will see. Um, so anyways, big, big improvement on the chassis on the little Roadster pickup project. Um, the, I think the Eastwood Rusty Capsitor Plus gives the perfect um, like sheen of black where it doesn't look like a flat like primer that's faded out black. It has a little bit of a sheen to it, which I think kind of looks like original would have probably been. So. I'm very happy with that. So thank you guys for following along. Really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of the Roadster pickup chassis now that it's all painted and back together. Thanks, guys. See you later.